Uh, I want to invent something. There's a lot of women out there that are still very promiscuous, and uh, you know, there's all these STDs. There's people dying from things, but there's still women that are promiscuous. So I want to invent the morning after gum, and the slogan will read: "Bitch, you should have swallowed yesterday. Today you got to chew." <laughs> Sponsored by On Planned Parenthood. <laughs> You know, I watch a lot of porn. I don't know if anybody else in the audience does, but I've been married for 12 years. My wife actually likes it too. We watch it together. But I, I find myself, you know, getting stimulated mentally. I'm watching all these guys do act-to-mouth scenes, and like they're trying to mine their way to the other side, and they suffer no ill effects, no health problems whatsoever. And it doesn't make any sense to me, because some poor guy that is a server at Friendly's doesn't correctly wash his hands, and he gives somebody a deadly case of E. coli. Do we have the wrong people serving our food? Should porn stars be serving our food? I mean, think about it. Think about the first time you asked for extra mayo and Peter North blasted it to you from four tables away. That's gonna be a pretty memorable moment. It seems like a lot of you guys do know who Peter North is. He's a personal hero of mine, but if you don't know who he is, I remember this one video, I'll never forget it. He's got this girl in pigtails and he's hitting it from behind. And right as he's about to finish, he pulls, steps back, pulls her one pigtail to the side and he blasts her four times in the face. And I'll, I'll never forget it. I was like, man, I usually have a hard enough time clearing my hand. <laughs> so I, I vowed right then and there that I was going to do something. I was going to try to make this happen. So it was tough. It was a tough battle. But I went like three weeks. I didn't do anything with my wife. I didn't do any I love me, nothing like that for a whole three week period. Then one day at work, I could feel that I couldn't take it anymore. So I rushed home. I told my wife it was time, got her in the bedroom, I got behind her, I did like two pumps, I went flying across the room, and shot at me like a bottle rocket with the stick cut off of it, and I, and I missed, completely missed her. And we were like looking around the room trying to figure out where it went, I didn't see it on her, I didn't see it on the bedding, it wasn't on the wall behind her, and it was on the side wall, and it was dripping off the chin of a picture of a priest. <laughs> And my wife got all pissed off. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, we're, we're, we're going to hell. Look at it, it's dripping off the chin. I'm like, look it, it's not the first time it's ever happened. It's just the first time you and I caught it on film. <laughs> my card on that kind of thing. Mike Cardone, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Cardone. Good job, Mike. Mike, an extra two minutes next week. I'm so yeah. sorry. That is so fucked up. <laughs> it's Steve every time. It was Steve, Steve the first week, Steve this week. I'm so sorry. I really apologize in front of everybody. I'm so sorry. It's, it's all right. Up. But my card got two minutes extra next, next week. See, that's what I do. I make up for my. That's nice. You do nice. that for me, for the rest of us, get new blocks for your trailer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, it's okay. I love trailer jokes. That's all right. I don't know where he lives, but I can't do a trailer. <laughs> he couldn't live in a trailer. He couldn't, he couldn't do what I did. He couldn't do what I did. He tried to live in a trailer. I don't have to shout out my wife.